Frequently asked question number five about leasing. Why do I have to pay tax on my monthly payment? There's an easy answer to that. If you buy, buy a vehicle or purchase a vehicle, there's two ways you can do it. You can lease it or you can finance it. Let's take, for instance, a $30,000 vehicle. If you finance that vehicle, you finance the entire purchase, when you finance that and you buy that car, you've got to pay the tax on that $30,000 up front right away. So let's say on a $30,000 purchase, uh, your tax is 15%. So you've got to add $4,500 to your $30,000. So you, you're financing $34,500, okay? Plus whatever interest you're paying. So you're paying, your, your monthly payment includes not just the full purchase price, but the full tax. On a lease, a little bit different. On a lease, you're not actually paying for the entire vehicle. You're only paying for a part of it. For instance, on a lease, you've got a buyback amount at the end of the lease. And let's say that at the end of your lease, your buyout is, say, $10,000. Okay? That means you're only financing $20,000 of that $30,000. So really, now you're only financing $20,000. Okay? And on a lease, because you don't actually have ownership of the vehicle, the leasing company actually owns your vehicle, you don't have to pay the tax on that full amount. You pay it only on a monthly basis. So if you're paying 36 months on that $20,000, uh, then you're only going to pay, let's, let's say your monthly payment is uh, $350, and then you're only paying the tax on that $350 every month. Instead of paying, let's say, Let's say you finance this for 60 months, and your payment might be $550. Well, in that payment, you've now paid the full tax on the full purchase price. The leasing, all you're paying is a monthly portion of $350 based on that $20,000. That's why you pay uh, less tax on a lease.